So, I'm here in uh, World Water Day, Cape Town Water Cube. Special guest, uh, Ger Bergkamp, maybe one of the last. Ger, could you show your badges quickly? So we have you on. Ger Bergkamp, uh, working for IWA right now. Uh, briefly, just introduce yourself and what you're doing. I'm uh, Ger Bergkamp, working for IWA as Director of uh, Program and Regions. And uh, before that I was working uh, with uh, the World Water Council as Director General and with IACN as the Director of Water there. Okay, so it's World Water Day. Um, tell me a little bit about what you've been doing here and what the activities are with IWA. Well, World Water Day of course is a fantastic opportunity to again uh, promote water worldwide, to uh, raise awareness. And I think this year's te uh, theme is very important that we actually focus on where most people will be living in the future, mm -hmm. in urban areas. Mm -hmm. And so far we have uh, actually really not done a lot of thinking about how will people live in, in 30 or 40 years from now in those urban areas yeah. and how we fit for the future. Yeah, but that urbanization is already here, so... It's, it's happening as we speak. Exactly. And um, what you see now is that uh, we have got big problems with the big, big, big cities. But now, increasingly, what we see, all the projections are that most of the growth will be in the, the smaller and medium uh, cities and towns. And there, we have hardly started a discussion on how we do this. Mm -hmm. Great opportunity as well, because we can also see that in those cities that are, do not exist now, mm -hmm. we can actually start almost from scratch with actually coming up with leapfrogging approaches to, to what we have now. That is technology, but also in, in the way we do it. Mm -hmm. Governance is part of that, of course. <coughs> governance, but also the, 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 the way we set things up. For example, having more entrepreneurial uh, ship, for example, with uh, water shops or a sort of franchising of water distribution to, to cities or community-led approaches. So in a way you get a, a mosaic of approaches that at the moment is quite dominated by there's only one good way to do it. This is yeah. a utility that distributes. it. Yeah. So you've been in the water sector quite some time now, like you mentioned. I mean, uh, I mean, when you started out and, and in the water sector, and what's now? I mean, what's the difference? I mean, uh, what, what, are the, what are the issues right now which you're saying, okay, this needs to be handled right now, kind of thing? Well, we see, of course, when, when I started, there was a, a lot of focus that was in the 90s. It was a lot of focus on, on it starting to come on integrated management. I think that we have uh, discovered that, uh, you, yeah, you need to integrate uh, somewhat, but you uh, especially need to create opportunities for people. So mm -hmm. first I started to work in IUCN with actually creating opportunities in bases with re restoring rivers. So fishermen and, and, and herders can bring their cattle uh, and they can actually uh, live from the river again. Mm -hmm. and later on I also started to understand that a lot of the water is highly political. And so I joined the, the World Water Council to uh, try and work on that chapter of how you actually bring the politicians much closer into the, to the water discussion mm -hmm. and actually yeah. show some leadership. And of course now we see that the urban issues are really the, the dominant, people-wise, the dominant factor. And so that's why I've joined IWA, to actually focus more on, on this issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, Ger, thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Hope uh, you enjoy the latest uh, uh, dancing and partying here at, uh, in Cape Town, because we have quite a lineup. And of course Cape Town is a fantastic city, that's why we all have come here, to enjoy now the closing of World Water Day here in 2011 in Cape Town. Thank you very much.